Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Garrett Tanager, and I am playing some Night Cry. Now, I kickstarted this game, god, years ago, a couple of years ago. Um, and I didn't think... I actually forgot that I kickstarted it, and then I started getting emails, and I got really confused. So, <laughs> this is made by the same guys who made the original Clock Tower games. And you guys already saw me play the alpha version on my channel, and this is the full version, so we're gonna do some games. Let's play. It's a point-and-click adventure. It's a point-and-click horror game, just like clock the original Clock Towers were. August 18th, 2006. Teen. 16. Not 6. So it's in the future! Makes me wonder if they're going to release, like, a DLC or something. On- on the date that it was supposed to have happened. Whatever is going to happen. Those who've seen the alpha know what's going to happen. At least some of what's going to happen. This is blind, by the way. Completely blind. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> it does look better than it did in the alpha. Still doesn't play in 1080p, though. It seems you've had one too many drinks. Can I get you some water, ma'am? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just need some air. I see. Yeah, sure. Let me just know some air. Anything you need. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay, point and click adventure game. You can double click to run just like in the alpha. And I think I remember where to go. I'm not done here yet, so we need to go talk to the dude. I think, if I remember correctly. Go talk to him. It sure is hot in here. Could you take my jacket? It's not a jacket, it's a shawl! Wow, this animation, guys. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here's your number tag. You'll need it to pick up your jacket. Thank you! Right. <laughs> Thanks. There's nothing wrong with this guy at all. No, nothing that we saw in the Alpha. Nope. He's completely fine. I'm not done here yet. What else do I have to do? Do I have to talk to him again? Keep talking to him! Keep talking, assholes! By the way, have you seen Harry? Who? Oh, sorry. Harry is a friend of mine. Just a friend of hers. He's tall, short hair. I didn't see him anywhere at the party. Can we go back to the party? The party uh, seems like a better idea than left horror. Down the hall a moment ago. Maybe it was him. What are you scratching there, dude? Okay, thanks. It's through that door, right? Yes, ma'am. Hey, yes, ma'am! Nothing bad's gonna possibly happen when you leave. And then she turns around and what does she see? Why did she turn around and look back at him anyway? I wouldn't do that. You just leave at that point. And yep. Yep. <gasps> He's infected by something. We don't know what yet. That's kind of gross, actually. Okay. Gotta have her run that way. I do rem I do vaguely remember what I have to do. I remember getting horrifically stuck here when I played the alpha. Because apparently you have to talk to people multiple times. Let's see here, where's the dude I need to talk to in here? There, go talk to this guy. Hot towel and matches on a well polished counter. Well, we're gonna need those matches in a minute. Hello, young lady, are you back from the cocktail party? I guess you didn't find your knight in shining armor, huh? Nope. Yeah, something like that. Are you on vacation with your wife? <laughs> I love how we get no voice acting for this. <laughs> no, I'm traveling alone. Let me introduce myself. I'm Big Vigo Borisov, owner of this ship. I pronounce that horribly. Wow, you own this ship? 
Yeah, yeah, but he just said so. Yes, I always bring thee joy as he passengers such as yourself, having a great time on my ship. Oh, I guess I'm enjoying myself. Maybe I should tell him about the dude with the giant open wound. Ha! Don't be afraid to speak out if there's anything I can do, we can do to increase your comfort. Okay. You know, the animation style almost reminds me of Xenosaga. Let's talk to him again. You wouldn't happen to have a lighter, by the way? I'd like to boil my prosthetic eye to sterilize it, but I have misplaced my lighter. <laughs> he wants to boil his eyeball. Great. Sorry, I don't have one on hand. I don't smoke, so... Good. Smoking is bad. Wait, there might be something in the bar counter. I saw it earlier. It was a match. Hot towel and matches on a well-polished counter. Can I take those? You found an item! Matches! Achievement unlocked! The nightmare begins! <laughs> I got an achievement for finding some matches. If only there was something to light a fire with! You can select items you found in a... Okay. So I can select it from the little inventory thing that's up in the corner. <laughs> Great fourth wall breaking right there, game! The cursor will become the icon of the selected item, so you can click on an object to use the item on it. Classic adventure game stuff, except this is going to be horror. Lots of horror. Horror. There you go! Love how we only had one match. <laughs> he is, really is, boiling his eyeball. Great. I wonder if he's boiling it in water or something else, I don't know. Hey, thanks, young lady, you are great- wait a minute. Does he have multiple prosthetic eyes or something? Because he's got two eyes in, but he's got an eye there. Certain ones you can even use on yourself. Use on yourself, though. Um, alcohol? Probably. I mean, I'm assuming it's alcohol. It's usually alcohol. That was a really good fire texture there, though. I like good textures. They are good. Okay, she's gonna keep walking in this direction until I tell her otherwise. Which is a good thing, especially when you're being chased by an enemy. Because if you could... For those of you who have watched my Let's Plays of the Clock Tower games, I still need to do one of First Fear, though. Uh, or not First Fear, the, uh, the first game in the US, which is really the second game. Hey, ladies! But y'all know how this is gonna end. With me dying a lot. Why is there still no voice acting? <laughs> this is just like the Alpha. Jessica got tired of the party, so I came along with her. Are they wearing something different than they wore in the Alpha? I don't get why the best-looking guy here is, like, obsessed with Rooney. What a joke. Gotta be super, like... You know, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that was his name. I'm not into slim guys, so... <laughs> not into slim guys! <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Harry was looking for you, by the way. Yeah, you should totally date Harry, Monica. Are you ser- are you serious? I don't date guys with no future. So... you're a gold digger. <laughs> but he wanted to talk to you about something. You should go look for him on the lower floor. Okay. There's not even- there's not even any music! There's just nothing. There is nothing. And then there's the demon. No? No demons? Oh, hi. Old lady. Cool. Y'all heard that, right? I heard that. The snip? It went sheek! Hey, I can't hear you! Can you speak up? I I'm a little hard of hearing here. No? Okay. It's not suspicious at all. Night cry. Loading. So, so far, this is exactly like the Alpha. Which means everybody who's watched my video of the Alpha knows what's gonna happen. Doom, doom, doom. No, keep running. I didn't tell you to stop, lady. Um. <laughs> Demon child! Demon child. She's got, like... Ash at her feet. Demon child? 
demon child. Okay then. Oh, hey, look, it's a dude. Maybe he's Harry. Is he Harry? Hey there, so you left the party too, huh? Yeah, did you see a little girl come by this way? Hmm? It was just me until you came, babe. Oh. Is it oh? Hey, anyway, how's the party? You said you found a guy you like. I thought I did. He was alright, but not my type. It's like, well, I can be your type. In the end, I had to let him go. Ha, <laughs> sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm not done talking to you. Seems to me like he was more into Rooney anyway. Well, to each their own right. Personally, she bores the hell out of me. Why were you watching me and acting like you didn't know? You're disgusting. Hey, come on! I was cheering you on from the sidelines. I didn't expect plain Jane something something. I can't read this fast. Go to hell. She could have chosen a better something something. This is why we need cutscenes. Now we get a cutscene. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. I'm. R I have a beastly computer. You should not be t spending this long to load a cutscene. Game. Don't get yourself. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Say, wait a minute. I'm going to cut this. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? This guy's you a douche. A soda will get you on my good side. Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. Don't stick your what hand the... in there. Don't what stick your hand in there. Now? Well, uh, something is grabbing my hand. What? I said something inside here is grabbing my hand. Oh, Harry, the Gregory Peck Act is a bit outdated, don't you think? I'm serious! Yep. <laughs> he just got sucked into the vending machine and killed. Okay. This is what you run, Monica. Monica, this is when you bolt. Yes. You are correct in bolting at this point. Oh, wow, this wasn't here before. Um, Scissor Walker appears. Mouse wheel. Uh, click wall running to dash. Greatly reduces stamina. Stamina runs out, they'll no longer be able to move. Cover while walking or standing still. Running for a long time, resisting the attack. This is a man where we just play anima, and the screen will flash red. Center camera on the scissor walker. Hold your breath while hiding. Recover from falling over. Okay. Nope! Can we not, please? I don't like scissor walking. It's a bad sign. Scissor walking means dead scarlet. Uh oh. Um, can I dash? Oh good, I can. Uh oh. This way. You can find somewhere to hide, don't worry about it. Okay. There's gotta be some... What in the world? Okay then. Oh crap. <laughs> Get up! Up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god! Keep going, keep going. Keep running, you dumb, dumb person child thing! Just go! No! No! Oh my god, this person's an idiot. <laughs> please, just please, just go! I don't know if I got here in time. <gasps> I thought I saw something that <laughs> through the counter. <sighs> Hold your breath, lady!
Okay? Rock, paper, scissors, achievement unlocked. There's no one behind the counter. Okay. So now I'm guessing we need to figure out what the hell just happened. So we've got a lot of blood. Hold on, let's take a look at this. I don't feel like reading a two-week-old magazine. Probably not at the moment, no. I would not want to either. Anything here? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that noise? You okay there, Monica? Huh. Oh shit, hi! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten uh, you. Do, do you have anything uh, you on your neck? Right? You look very pale. Do you not see the blood on my dress right now? Are, are you... alive? What? It won't be for very long! Been going long enough to do that. How could that possibly have gone that hard? Like, it wasn't going that. Okay. Uh, fine. 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 Okay, I can't. I can't run at the moment. Okay, so this is where I died during the, um, other thing. But when I was running around in the, um, in, uh, deals, <laughs> alpha, when I was running around in the alpha, I hid in a place I probably shouldn't have hid in, and I died. Hey, like, blood. Need some kind of light to search this room. There is a light! Fine. Fine. There was totally a light there, bro. Come on. So hopefully Scissor Man doesn't- or Scissor Walker, it's not a Scissor Man, it's Scissor Walker. This is when you go find your friends. This is when you go find your friends. Take the elevator. Go find your friends. Maybe I had something to do with that creepy lady who was talking before! Oh, hey, look. His smartphone's poking out of his pocket. Maybe he was trying to call for help. Can I use that for light? Ugh, slimy. Ew. It won't turn on. It seems to be out of battery, so I need to find a cell phone battery. Smartphone battery dead. Can I use... Can I call an el es escalator? Elevator. Can I call an elevator? The elevator appears to see functioning. Great. I don't know, keep running, lady. Okay, we gotta find a smartphone. A smartphone battery or something that we can use to charge the smartphone. Though charging the smartphone tends to take time. Okay, is there anything by the bloody... bloody bloodness? As if I'm going to use the vending machines again! She's so calm about all this. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's something over here. No. Okay. <laughs> I do like the very subtle creepy music at the moment. It was better than the nothing from earlier. So this game just got right into the action. Classic Fatal Frame. You just jump right into the action. Okay, so I won't- I'm assuming that I can't go into the red doors. And I need to find a light before I can go into the other ones. Oh, here we go. That's a creepy camera angle. Okay. Well, that's broken. Only things in here- And this drawer is a Bible! I can't count on that monster chickening out when I pull out a Bible. <laughs> Picture of a middle-aged couple smiling together. By now, these people are probably- Yeah, they're probably very dead. Oh, a charger! Cool. 
There's a phone charger on the table, so I can use the phone on that, right? Of course, if I can charge that phone... Fuck. Oh, never mind. What?! <laughs> Thank goodness, now I can use this phone. How does that charge that quickly? Jason Thompson is displayed on the startup screen. Okay. This call isn't going through. What about this one? Call isn't going through. What about withheld? Balls. This is why I can't have nice things, you guys. Um... Oh, okay. So that's what I use for lighting. That's cool. Okay, there's some beds. This bed has been neatly made! Cool. If I had a quick nap here, maybe everything would go back to normal. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna go with that's a horrific idea. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, she opens it and there's scissor- and there's a scissor person in there. Okay, I should be able to use that dark room now. Okay, it was over in this direction, if I remember correctly. So at least we know where there's another hide spot. Of course it's a closet. Okay. And that is going to be the end of this video, you guys. My name is Miss Greta Tinnager, and I am playing some of Nightcry. I'll see you all in the next video.